I don't know what I'm gonna title this one because it's really hard to title, but the concept I feel is like really easy to grasp. I'm thinking I might title it, I forget, I'm not famous, but that sounds really obnoxious. So if I ended up titling it that, yeah, this is a little explanation for you. I don't wanna sound like a little arrogant, like I'm not famous. It's not that I think I'm famous or should be famous. That's not what this is about. It's just, it's about famous people. Don't you just have those times where you could wish you could befriend your favorite celebrity or YouTuber or musician, whatever. I think this like can apply to any famous person, but for this video it's specifically, I'm gonna just talk about mainly YouTubers. I just kind of visualize everyone as another human and if they have a special job, that's cool, but it's like they just have special jobs. They're not really any different than anyone else. And I kind of feel like most celebrities just want to be treated normally, which isn't like that weird of a thing to ask. It's just kind of hard nowadays. And I feel like social media kind of tries to close that gap between like fans and creators. It gives the illusion of connectivity, but I feel it's still kind of limited since one person is still one person and millions of people trying to talk to one person. Obviously, they're just not everyone's gonna get seen or talked to because there's not enough time in the day for that. I just wanna like grab a cup of coffee or tea with some YouTubers and talk opinions like shows they're watching or music they're listening to, animes they're watching, I don't know. Just things in general, I guess. I don't know, I just like hearing other people's opinions because everyone has kind of a different experience in life. So. And with YouTube especially, like with this platform, it kind of enables people to find others that they really heavily relate to. It kind of further drags out this desire to want to meet people and interact with them in person like a one-on-one -on -one thing instead of a one-sided on the screen ordeal. It's like you just want to chat with this creator but as a peer, not as a fan. And I feel like it's getting harder and more complicated nowadays. So. Especially since most vlogs are humanizing and make people relatable and they want to give off this appearance that they're just like us and they're normal too and they are it just furthers this kind of irritation I don't know if you can call it irritation but it's like they're normal people why can't I just be able to be like hey let's get, get a cup of coffee not that I talk to normal people but theoretically why can't they just be treated normally I know it's a lot of people desire the same thing so it's kind of unrealistic to be like why can't this happen but it's an internal struggle for me but i just don't comprehend the gap between creators and fans i feel like it's been growing over time which i think is kind of inevitable because of how big youtube has got you don't really see like doctors or teacher fandoms that's just weird to us but we can idolize these people who are theoretically exactly like us which i find strange there's other people who are doing amazing things but no one puts them up on a pedestal. Yet strangers we find relatable, we put them up and idolize them as if they're otherworldly. We as fans make them kind of unattainable by placing them above us. Totally be down to collab with some cool YouTubers. And I feel like I should be able to because they're a human, I'm a human, but I can't. <laughs> Other than <laughs> my lack of self-confidence, I don't consider myself their peers even if I upload videos to YouTube. Technically meet the criteria of YouTuber because it's like I upload videos to YouTube but anyone can do that so it's not really a special thing unless you have a lot of subscribers. And I forget that humans aren't just humans because we glamorize everyone and put them above us and therefore we cannot break this barrier that society has made. Hashtag relatable, am I right? The whole video is just being like a senpai notice me. I just don't comprehend the gap. I can comprehend it, but it's just like, I wish it was not there. I think this is me voicing my opinion like, do something, call to action, let's all wreck the gap. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but yeah. I forget I'm not famous or obnoxious cat doesn't understand why humans can't all be treated like humans. Like, I don't understand when people scream at other humans because they're really excited. Like, I can get, like, younger people, like, are just really excited, but when I'm excited, I don't usually scream. I'm at peace with myself. I'm just semi-dead inside, but I keep all the emotions on the down low. Like, I don't understand why you'd scream at these people. Like, they're just people, and we're just people, and it's just, we're all just people. That's the message of this. It's a really simple message and here we are. If you genuinely just want to talk to creators as a peer and have this, this struggle, this internal struggle and feelings, like this video and we can try to get through this together because we're all friends. I'll see you guys soon.